<laughs> Mr. Angry. There we go. So Lord Moody is looking pretty damn swole and he wants to get straight into battle. I have a plan for this little uh, first bit. Lord Moody is ready for battle. I suppose whilst we run our way over to the Asylum Demon, I'll go over my workout quickly. Today was a leg focus day. Pause squats, bench press, leg curls, leg extensions, um, a little bit of posing and some hip thrusts. Nothing too out of the moon. Out of the moon, out of the earth, onto the moon. And then over to Pluto. Pretty damn fatigued. It's the fifth week of the block. Sixth week of a deload, so it'll be quite refreshing to jump into that deload next week. It's definitely needed because I'm at this point, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the, uh, the amount of volume and intensity that has been put on top of me over the last five weeks. I worked up to 210 kilos for the squats and 170 kilos for the dead, uh, for the bench presses. 210 kilos felt okay. It was around RPE 8. 170 kilos on the bench, oh, that was around know, RPE 9. Know, Nowhere I'm near as easy as it was last week, which obviously speaks a lot in terms of fatigue. Get Perry, bam, right in the abdominals. Oh, oh no. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Look at that ugly ass thing. I better make sure that I don't die to this, otherwise I'll be quite unhappy with myself. Look at that jiggle physics. Asylum demon be twerking. Okay, now that that nuisance is out of the way, it's time to head over to Farlink Shrine. We have once again reached Farlink Shrine. Now, there's a few things I'm just gonna grab. Down you go. Where are you going, my friend? Another one bites the dust. Oh. Okay, I should probably get out the range of that before it toasts me to death. Poor timing on my behalf. Just about missed me, that did. Okay, in a bit. There we go. Ring of Sacrifice. Oh, hello. I didn't expect you there. It is very much too easy to backstab on Dark Souls 1. Oh, I mistimed it. Mistimed it. Mistimed it. That's terrible. Almost got taken out by an undead hollow. There we go. We cannot afford to do that too often. As that will cost me my life and my humanity. And all of the protein shakes in Lothric. I get fingers out. Oh, my fingers! Oh, my fingers! 
Oh, my back. Oh. Huh? Didn't see you there. Try to get the parry on him. Yeah. Bam. And bam. Another one bites of dust. Climb this ladder, work on the rhomboids, the traps, and all of the muscles in the upper back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Absolutely not, my friend. Get on the floor, eat some dirt. Oh, just about. Huh? You know, Dos Press. Get your sword out. Stop being a wimp. Come on. Find me like a real undead. Give it a rest, come on. I'm all in your grill, man. Whatever. There's a lovely little technique for this. He just fucking... He's gonna sneak up to the right of me, I think. No. Boom. Bam. Come on. Easy. Let's get this little fiend before he sneaks up on me. And then uh, the exploit shall begin. Purchase 100 wooden arrows, not standard. Did I just say 100? 999. <laughs> then what you do? Go to your inventory, find a cell, change the order of that cell, and put it underneath the Estus flask. Go over to wooden arrow, go to drop the wooden arrow, you've got 999 but don't drop it. Go over to the configure options, get your mouse, put it over the quick game, hover over the inventory. Now what you want to do is you want to right click and press A at the same time. It will work eventually. See that? Cool. That's good. Hover over to the large cell and find where it says use. Press down on the D-pad. Press OK. And I dropped it. Brilliant. And then BAM! Hundreds of thousands of cells. It also works for humanity. So drop the remainder Fuck one. Change the order. Go over to the configure settings and repeat. Right click an A at the same time with a slight delay on the A. Humanity, top. And I didn't do the arrow thing. Always do this. And bam, 99 humanity. So, so now we can go into human form and spend some of our cells. So, with our incredible amount of cells, very early on, 400,000 plus, we've got two choices. We can either do a playthrough with the exploited build, or we can go back to square one and select the class. We shall play that class as it is intended. What I mean by that is... For a knight, it would obviously be vitality, endurance, and strength. Maybe a little bit of dex, depending on what we go for. Or we could play as a thief, which would be mainly dex. Or a, a mage, and put all of our things, all, all of our points into intelligence. And then we just run that build throughout the entire playthrough. Rather than a hybrid build, which would be something like a katana-wielding pyromancer, or a shield-wielding magic thrower you know i'm going to dump all of my points into dex endurance uh, 
That's another 199,000 cells in the bank. We have officially hard capped the decks and soft capped the endurance. And then the rest can just go into vitality. So what I want to do is I want to find the bandit's knife. That is the aim of the game. We're going to use daggers only on this build. Going to go to the undead merchant here and purchase oh, ourselves a dagger. Never hurt. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> oh my god. What a creepy man. I know there's a way of parrying with the... Stab. It's like the Pokenator. That's what I should have called him. Ah, there we go. I found out how to parry without a sword. That guy there at the back, he's the one that we want. little bit of gold pine resin come on and get your oh get your sword out I dare you uh, pathetic weak coward oh didn't expect you here what is that okay got about our first bit of armor right here Lovely. Should we take... Should we take on the Black Knight? Of course. That's not even a question, is it? I shouldn't even ask that. The question is... What Black Knight is it again? Oh, it's the Great Sword one. Oh, get down on it. Get down on it. Okay, we're getting a bit cocky here. Oh. So, oh, it's running. Oh, we're taking hits. We're taking big hits. We're cornered. Get that Estus Flark down your neck. Let's not. I'm fucking stuck. Help. There. Right, we want four health if I'm going to achieve a decent parry. I can't really... There we go, that's the gold. On your knees. Will I get the greatsword? Wow, that was a dramatic... Oh, didn't even get the fucking sword off of it. I hate that. Well, that was for pretty much nothing. All I wanted was the sword from that. And roll. Okay. I think once I've fought this, I'll uh, go down and try to get Havel. But Havel is a different breed of NPC. Uh-oh. My controller's died. And I'm going to die. Oh, no. I'm using keyboard and mouse. How does this work? Okay. Q is... Oh, this is weird. Right, let's uh, charge this up. We're back in the game. Well, let's get down and get dirty. I've already got two more Estus flasks. That should be okay. Whoa. Run back so we can get the drop down. I could use the pine resin, but I don't feel like it's needed right now. Big damage. Just poke it to death. Oh, get up. 
That was so close. I know we don't need a hill exactly right now. We're getting way too close to this. Right. I can't see. Bomb straight in the pecker. And that was that. Victory achieved. On to the workout, I guess. Be nice. And then I can build a community. That's the aim. After building a community, I can make mini meets. Where like I get loads of people together and we all do a fucking meet in like a really cool gym or something. I think that's cool. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm be nodding. That feels nice. Oh, right in my shoe. Why did I do that? Why did I put the chalk in my shoe? My back is rather sore today, probably from all the driving and the amount of volume over the last week. So the belt's coming on early. Plates must align perfectly. Otherwise, the gym universe will be out of balance. I had someone in the comment section advise I use wraps for my wrists if they hurt during the low bar. If I put these on, I am officially squatting like a powerlifter. So, Maybe it's time to make that transition. One little thing before I go on. Don't wrap just around the joint, otherwise you're not doing anything. Wrap over the joint like this. And wrap just slightly high, higher after that one. That way, you're actually holding it in place rather than just compressing it and keeping it nice and cozy. There we go. Honestly, I think the wraps might have actually made it worse, so I think I'll use bareback wrists. Okay, that was rusty. Okay, so slight technical adjustment. Instead of walking it back all the way here, I'm going to bring the bar up and take two small steps so I'm closer to the squat rack. My lower back is very sore. If anything, I shouldn't go up to 210 and try a pause rep with it. 200 felt good, it looked good, but my back is very sore, so I might end up having to actually bail. We shall see. Oh, okay, that was easier than I thought. I can't quite easy. <laughs> that was definitely RPE8. I did 210 for a single at 
what I'd say was about RPE 8, personally. What it looks like, from your perspective, I don't know. You can guess. But it wants me, my program, to drop down to 170 and do a set of seven paused reps. This is where how you feel comes into play with your program. Now, your program might be set at a certain RPE, but you really do need to take into account many factors. And the biggest one is fatigue. Obviously, RPE is governed by fatigue. I'm not going to inflame the shit out of my already sore back. So instead of doing 170 for a top set of seven pause reps, and then dropping down and doing a further three sets of seven pause reps. I'm just going to do two or three pause reps at a very low weight of 140 kilos. In my mind, that just makes sense. I've got a deload next week anyway. So phasing into the deload starts now. I think because it's such a low weight, I'll do it beltless. And I'll do it high bar, why not? Let's do it high bar, let's do it beltless. I haven't done high bar in a while. Judging by how that felt, I'd say one more set is in order. High bar. Yeah, high bar. My friend made a very good point. I've been low bar squatting twice a week for four or five weeks now, which would explain the extra fatigue I'm feeling in my lower back. Funny enough, I never even thought about that. So for him to bring that up was quite helpful. So I think I'll go back to what I was originally doing, which is low bar squatting for my normal squat day and high bar squatting for my pause squat day. My low bar squat, I don't know what the um, one rep max of that is, but I do know that my high bar squat is around, well, for a pause rep, around 220, 225, which isn't too bad. I think my low bar for one rep, not paused, is realistically sitting around 235, maybe 240 at most. Again, that's just a, <coughs> excuse me, a rough estimate. Anyway, let's finish up with this last set of paused high bar back squats and move on to some bench press. Oh, that's the last of the squats. That reduction in the distance traveled backwards with the barbell has made a significant difference in the amount of energy I have per set. So I'm definitely gonna stick to just coming eight, probably even a quarter of the way that I usually do. Just makes sense. Can't forget this tiny bit of chalk. Someone might steal it again. Well, I forgot to film 60, so I guess I'm filming 100 kilos as my first set.
120 is going to be easy peasy. A lemon squeezy wheezy. My breath smells cheesy. Are you sure it's not your feet? No, it's not my feet. It's my breath. I swear my protein shake has dish soap in it because when I drink my protein shake, I end up with these really bubbly burps. Well, and really farty farts, really stinky ones. But it's the bubbly burps that have got me concerned. It does beg the question, will it give me colon cancer in five years? Or uh, should I just think about the games and say, fuck it? <clears throat> that grunt was unnecessary. There wasn't enough weight to grunt with. Where's a 20? You using the 20s? Using the 20s? No, cool. I always do this. I always approach. Oh no, I don't know the way that looks. I can't stand an unorganised weight rack system. It's like sleeping in a messy bedroom. It's horrible. Fake tan. Fucking gay. Depending on how this goes up, will determine what weight I hit after this. <sighs> A little bit of chalk might help my sweaty ass hands. Oh no. That tiny bit of chalk that I picked up no longer exists. It's just dust in the air. I think this will be the perfect weight for a set of six spotto presses. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. In fact, I would probably say that one twenty should have been the weight for this set because that was definitely sitting around RPE 6, maybe at most 6.5. Now I could obviously go 120 and do another set of 6 for my top set. I'm just going to use 115 as the weight for my top set and then come the deload I can chill out and then start the the rest of the block. I'm definitely fatigued, but I know the majority of the fatigue is coming from five days of getting up at four in the morning, working till 2.30, still going to the gym, not eating is great because I don't have enough time to cook food in the morning. But regardless of excuses, which are somewhat reasonable, just got to crack on with it. That's just how it is. Crack on with it. Come in the gym. Do what you can. Um, there's nothing more really to it. But just drop down and do the rest of the sets. 
finishing off with two to three sets of six with 105 kilos. I am absolutely shattered. You'll do one more set before I fall asleep on this bench press. Five days of getting up at four in the morning have uh, exhausted me mentally and physically. I really need to find more structure in life, whether that be getting a job with a fixed routine or uh, YouTube, which is very, very much far in the future and not guaranteed. Anyway, enough chitter chatter, rambling on about absolute bollocks. Thursday is quite a long session and it's getting late and I still need to eat. So there's 18 kilos loaded up on the machine, which I did last week. But I think I only did it for 10, three sets of 10. This week, I'm gonna try and get three sets of 12 instead. Okay, well, that's not gonna start, is it? Whew. Okay, two more sets of that. Second set, same weight, same shit. Just one more set and then the pain is no more. Come on. My hamstrings are fucked. God damn, that was quite the set. Moving on some uh, leg extensions now. But firstly, I must lay here and recover. Regain my cognitive abilities to think and my neurological abilities to walk. I think the same applies to leg extensions. That's a bit too far back from my short legs. But yeah, that feels good.
can move this a little bit. Obviously, before we start the bucket. Two more sets of that, and uh, I'll be meeting the Grim Reaper. Let's slow this last set down. That second set was a bit too fast, and I like him. Yo, go on. Do you have like a set I, well, yeah, I do now, now that I've fucking sorted my regime out. Yeah. So, the next time I bench will be Monday. Monday. Um, and then it will be Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday. So Monday, maybe four. Maybe I'm missing one out. Yeah, five. five. five sorry, four, because... Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Do you like save? Do you like not go all out? Is it like save? No. So I do mainly my, the main focus on Monday is squats, and then I do bench after. But that's a volume, so I do three sets of ten, um, not at one weight, but work up to a set of ten at a certain RPE. Right, yeah. Second day, top set, pretty fairly, you know. Fairly up there in terms of weight and RPE. Third time is working up to usually a single at a certain RPE, but then dropping down to a weak point variation, which means, um, for example, for me, um, I've noticed that my weak point is about here. Is that why you were like stopping it there? Yeah. When you went on the, uh... So I was doing spotto presses, which is where you come down and you stop about an inch or two, maybe an inch and a half at most, um, then pause it and then press, because that'll work on that. So weak point variant after the heavy single. And then tomorrow, um, which, will, which should be close grip, close grip. So four times, one weak point, and then just a variation. But again, the, free, the, the other three days minus the, the main bench day, are more for volume and very specific. Yeah. So weak point and for close grip is simply for development of different muscles rather than just focusing purely on the chest. When you bench, do you sort of do wider or is it close? So for me, when I bench, my grip is I get my two I get my little thumbs, stick it on the start of the knurling, and then that'll be where I bench. I'm usually like an inch away from the the first ring, maybe a little bit closer. Close grip is at the start of the knurling. Um, a lot of people do it where they have it inside the knurling. Um, not sorry, in, outside the uh, knurling, outside the uh, knurling, um, on the smooth part. But that is just unnecessary stress on the wrist joint because 
this is where you should be pressing because you can load the joints. You start doing that, you're overloading the, the wrist joint. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's, I'm just rambling now. Well, I'll be here Monday anyway, so if you are, see. Yeah, all right, yeah. I'll be coming Monday. I'm off Monday. So what time are you um, coming down? So six-ish. I'll come down at six. Pardon? Squat on me first. Actually, no, I'll come down at five. And then by the time I've done my squats, you'll be down here. Yeah, we'll get up to six. Yeah? Yeah, that's you. That's on you. Leave her behind if she doesn't. Yeah. Right, I'll see you later. I'm sure Ashley will be down as well. Yeah. And it'll be good to have two perspectives. Yeah. So you can try the way that I help you out or you can try the way that Ashley... Yeah, we both bench different. Yeah, we both, we both bench different. So you can, you can have a little gander at both. Just work up to like um, a light weight, 60% or like RPE six. And then do like three or, three or four sets and just adjust your technique and then when you find one that's like oh this feels quite good do like an extra set to make sure that you know that actually feels pretty damn suitable for me so yeah monday yeah see you later have a good one i think i've done three sets i've lost track yeah i've done three sets so now yeah, moving on i suppose i mean i missed out hip thrusts so i'm tempted to squeeze them in funny because with hip thrust, there's a lot of squeeze involved. So that pun was, it wasn't intended, but now it is. I think it's time to reveal the legs. We'll uh, take the glasses off to boost my sexual appearance by at least 10 whole points. Bring out the old forehead to reduce it by another 10. And we're back to square one. Let's have a little gander. Move the old tiny penis out of the way. They're definitely thick. I can see a little bit of tone. I don't really know how to pose my legs, I suppose. We'll get a little bicep action in. Maybe a little lad action. They're bigger than they were when I started this block. And then at the end of last block, they were bigger than they were before. And so on. Boom. Oh, but it's leg day. I don't give a fuck. For the bounce, I'm going to see if I can hit for us to 140 kilos. I've already done two sets of. 10 with 100 kilos and uh, seeing as it's the last week before a deload I don't think maxing out the hit for us is going to make too much of an impact for the future half of the block oh baby <sighs> That was surprisingly easy. I could have probably done three solid sets of eight with that weight. Maybe those last two were just me being a bit of a pussy and not really testing what I can do with the old hip thrust because I'm so unfamiliar with it. But funny enough, 140 kilos, pretty damn good weight for a solid set of eight, maybe even 10. Well, no, not maybe, definitely. <laughs> 